Okay, welcome to lesson two. So now we have one tank which we can move left and right and um, which goes to its right position at the very beginning of the game. Uh, we want to have an enemy tank of course as well. So we're going to do pretty much the same thing almost as we did in lesson one but our movement is going to be quite different. So let's go paint a new sprite and we're going to do a rectangle again. We're going to do This tank is going to be, I'm going to do red. Okay, and just like um, before, we click up here on our um, set the center. We want to make sure that's actually in the middle of our tank. And click on the little I button over here, set the direction. For our movement of our tank here, yeah, what we want it to do is we want our tank to move towards so our red tank. We want the red tank, the bad guy. In fact, let's just go and name these so that um, so if I click my little eye here, and name the sprite. I'm going to call it my tank. Okay, and this is change this name. So for the red tank, we want it to try and crash into our tank. Okay, so he's on a bit of a he's on a mission to crash into us. All right. So what do we need? We need to say um, point towards. This is a really great little um, thing. We can we can make our tank point towards anything we want. So I'm going to paint, make it point towards my tank. I do that, now he's going to point towards my tank, and I'll just see, move 10 steps, dum, dum, dum. now he's going to try and move towards me, okay, so, but we want him to keep moving, we don't want him to just, you know, to only move 10 steps once, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, point towards my tank, uh, and maybe we'll do that when the green flag is clicked, point towards my tank. We'll also need a starting position for our red tank, right? So initially we're just going to choose a position. So I'm going to say, let's have a look here, um, our X and Y again, and go to our motion. And let's just say we're going to start him up somewhere around here. Okay. Um, later on we'll we'll make it random where he pops out, but we'll just start for, for the easiness of this initial bit of the game, we'll just make him start here and we'll say, um, go to there. Go to 116149, so you can see that it's minus x, so it's over to the left a bit, and it's plus y, so it's up near the top, and then you point towards my tank. Alright, so wherever he's been before and wherever my tank's been before, when I click that, that that's where they're going to go. Okay, um, so the red tank again, and look at the scripts, and now we're going to say uh, move 10 steps. The trouble is, is that he's only going to move to exactly there. And we want him to keep moving and keep moving and keep moving until he crashes into us. So we go to our control section here, and this is where we can say, just keep on doing this, right? Repeat this. So we can say forever, move 10 steps. Now we're going to have a little bit of a problem here, because look what's going to happen. Maybe we want him to move a little bit slower. That's very fast for a tank, isn't it? So if we go back to our, um, I don't know if we, if we 
down the control here. If you look, there's a little wait one second. Okay, so if we click on our green thing, that's very slow, but maybe that's how slow we want it for now. But we can make, we can speed them up, all right? So there's two two numbers here in this little loop. This is called a loop, okay, because it keeps going round and round. It keeps, does, so it does. When we click the green flag, our tank goes up there points towards the tank and then it's going to keep doing these two things forever. It's going to wait a second and it's going to move 10 steps and it's going to wait a second, move 10 steps, wait a second, move 10 steps. If we want it to move faster, there's, we can, there's two numbers here. So one of them we would make bigger to make it move faster and the other one would make smaller. Can you guess which ones it is? So I'll tell you the answer now, right? So if we want it to move faster, we can make it move 20 steps, right? So let's see how that would look. The other way we can make them move faster is we can make them the little delay in between each step be a little smaller. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5, that's half a second. Okay, so let's see how that looks. So maybe that's about the right speed. Okay, and now we can always move our tank left and right. So we can move our tank out of the way. Um, so we now have the beginning of our game. But it's going to be very easy to play this game, isn't it? Because that tank, we can easily just move out of the way straight away because we know where he know that he's going to appear straight away up the top and, and point towards us. And um, what we could do, okay, we're not going to do this for this game, but I'll show you what we could do is we could say, we can move that point towards my tank there in the forever. And then what would happen now? Let's see what would happen if we start. Oh dear, it's going to keep can keep moving towards us. Trouble is, we can never escape him now. <laughs> He's going to chase us wherever we go, and we can only go left and right. Okay, so we're actually not going to do that. To put those back in there and move the point towards my tank. So He's only going to point towards us once, right at the very beginning. We can make it. I'm just showing you that because you can make the game a little bit harder as the game goes on, or you can make it harder you know, right from the beginning if, if you want to, all right? So that's our initial movement for there. Um, so I'll just stop the game there. All right, so lesson two, we now have two tanks, and the red tank appears on the screen and moves, points at our green tank and moves towards it, okay? Um, going to do a few more things in lesson three um, to for our tank movement so that it's um, a little bit more interesting okay so I'll see you in lesson three